Hey guys, welcome to another GTSS video, and in this video I'm going to be talking about Google Chrome 37, which was just released on Android, and its new features and stuff. So as you can see, there's a new icon, and you can get this in the Google Play Store, by the way, but let's talk about it. So it is the biggest Google Chrome update it has, Google Chrome has ever seen, and here's why. It has a huge design change. It's all about material design here. The animations, the look and feel, the icon, everything is material design going along with Android L. And the app, when you click on it, actually launches significantly faster. So I'm going to show you guys that here. First, I click on the normal Chrome, which is 36. And then I click on the Google Chrome beta. And as you can see here, it loads way faster. And this is after I've been logged in to my Google account and everything. So now I'm going to be showing you guys just the animations and stuff like that. And I really just went on haywire streak here of animations. The device location had an animation. Every new tab I clicked on has a sweet animation. When you close a tab, there's an animation, and everything is just smooth, seamless, and slick. It just looks significantly better. It feels smoother, and maybe it's just a placebo effect that makes it seem faster. But for example, when I click on the settings icon, it's a very smooth settings animation. Just everything about this new version of Google Chrome is smoother than the previous version. And as you can see, it's more minimalistic as well. Instead of a new tab page being cluttered with tiles, there are a couple of tiles in a big Google search, which is emphasized. I can go to websites and stuff, and everything just seems to be working faster. And I think it's a very good update for this Google Chrome version, because even though it's just especially aesthetic. Now, this is a feature in Google Chrome that I actually really liked, especially with the beta version. You can enable this feature to save bandwidth and browse more securely. So if you're on an LTE plan, you can save bandwidth, and this also enables like mail malware and phishing protection in your Google Chrome. That's definitely useful, and it also gives you reports on how much you've saved. Here, I compared the user interfaces. So I have Google Chrome 36 on the left and beta on the right. As you can see, the left one is way, way more cluttered. It's just more ugly. The right one looks pretty good. Uh, the interface is kind of blocky, but the new tab page is really nice with the Google page and the new tab icons, and I think it just really looks nice. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I certainly hope you learned something and enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks.